What up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Big Stepper, coming back at y'all with another Big Stepping review. And if you step up with the steppers, man, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Go ahead and smash that like button. And make sure you step in with the steppers over here. So this is my introduction video, YouTube. Um, man, I, sh I should have I should have made a YouTube a long time ago. Um, so I can be caught up. But now I got to play catch up. So um, this is my first official review. And I'm doing it on a shoe that I guess I could say this is definitely my grail. Like this is my grail of grails. Um, my favorite shoe of all time. Um, I've only been a sneaker here for five years. So when I say that, don't 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 try to press me like this. It's your favorite shoe of all time, really. Um, but man, there, it, it's I've been through so much trying to get this sneaker. And when I say I've been through a lot, I mean I've been through a lot. Like. Um, well, let me show y'all the sneaker first so y'all can know. Y'all see this box. You already know what the vibes are if you see this box. In here, we have it. VR45 Sale. Um, man, this shoe. Y'all, I've been through so much for this shoe. Um, I guess we can just start at, you know, the release day. Um, I didn't cop like everybody else, of course, for retail. So, um, you know, it was hard to get this shoe. Um, but I'll start from the very beginning because when this shoe first come out, came out, I didn't even like it. I was like, this shoe was horrible. The bottom is just yellow. It has holes in it. And I, I did not like this shoe at all. But over time, it, it really grew on me. The more I saw it, the more I just I fell in love with it. I'm like, man, it... It can go with any fit. It looks good with any fit. And the more people I would see wearing it, I'll be like, man, they got the off-white fives. Like, I love them so much. But, um, so, boom. Then hit for retail, just like everybody else. So, um, it was tough getting these shoes, man. I waited until, no, actually, I take it back. I had bought a replica, a replica pair of them, but... When I bought the replica pair, the only thing that was off, I mean, like, the gray was off a little bit, but, like, the only thing that would really, like, make me mad would be the tongue. Because the tongue on the rep would just be like this, or it would be like this. Like, it would never just stay, like, how it should stay, like, you know, perfect. And the, the tongues on reps, like, you can tell, like, they just too fat and whatever, but... Listen, do not do reps, okay? I don't care what nobody tell you. If that if that's what your pockets can afford, by all means, because the reps are really good. Like some of them look really close to the real thing, but it's just you. It, it there's a difference between a replica and the real deal, and it's in the quality. It's in how the shoe is built. When you when you when you see a real shoe and you see the fake, you can. There's just so much that you you can see. So a lot of people be saying like. Well, man, I know if I can't ever get this shoe that's going for over ten thousand dollars, I'm gonna get a rep. That's fine, but you you have to know that 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 ten thousand dollar fake that you got is nowhere near gonna. It's gonna look like it, but trust me, it's gonna be nowhere near compared to the real thing. Especially with like how Off White and Travis and all these other guys who are collabing with Nike, they're finding ways to 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 use and incorporate different types of material and deconstruct shoes in ways that these replicas like they still can do it but trust me you you can just tell so i went on that replica rant that's an rr replica rant sorry so anyways I, I bought a rep the rep just wasn't doing it the only rep i had in my collection and i'm like bro i i can't i just i can't do it i can't have it so end of last year this was like maybe two weeks before christmas um i was on an app I'm not going to say what's that, but I was on an app and I found um, a kid who was willing to trade and we did a big trade. He traded me off-white fives, um, mocha ones and bread ones, which the off-white fives and the bread ones were totally fake. I think the mocha ones were, they were the only ones that were real because when I got home, as soon as I did the trade, I got home, you know, did the legit thing on the app. Two of them, two of them didn't pass, one did, so. It went like that. And I should have known better because as far as much as I've watched reviews on this sneaker and know what it looks like, it's people can get you, man. When you're in the moment, like I said, if you I don't think I don't think I've ever even seen a real pair of these until like maybe like honestly, maybe like until 
earlier this year. Like I've never even, because even when some people have them like in a mall and stuff, like they're wrapped in plastic and it's still, you really can't see the detail of the shoe. But, um, so be, be extremely careful. Don't do any trades, people, unless like you know the person or it's through trade block. But, um, because I love trade block. I got my Travis, uh, sixes from trade block, my olive. So shout out to, to the boys over there at trade block. Much love. I was so thirsty for that shoe, y'all. I did that trade. For those three sneakers that he gave me, the off white fives, the braids, the mochas, I gave this kid a 2019 MacBook Pro, um, Jordan 6 Infrared, Jordan 6 DMP, thir Jordan Flint 13s, Jordan 1 Smoke Gray. Um, what else did I give him? And I think there might have been one or two other shoes. I think there were two other sneakers, too. Um, I just can't think off the top of my head which ones they were, but yeah, I loaded this kid up and he got me. So, um, earlier this year, you know, I just was at my wits end, you know, I basically had half of my sneaker collection was gone. So I wasn't into sneakers, but I slowly got back into it. You know, I just started off with a pair of Air Force Ones, of all white Air Force Ones. It started off with those and I think I got, um, some calcite gloves because I took a vacation to Cali. So I wanted something comfortable. And the calcite gloves are amazing. If you're looking for a comfortable shoe, the calcite gloves are a real comfortable shoe. But a side note, that one thing I, I've, I've noticed about Yeezys is that you can, I feel like you can only wear Yeezys with sweatpants. Like with some shorts, I think they look fine. But like Yeezys with jeans, you can't wear Yeezys, Yeezys with jeans at all. Like it just, it's a no-go. But sweatpants, shorts, you can do it. But yeah. Sometimes it's like styling Yeezys, like, damn, I got to wear sweatpants. So I started off with those two shoes, and then um, I hit for the Travis Scott 6, the British khaki, which I really didn't like that shoe because I already had the olive, and the olive is one of my grills too. But, you know, like, it's like, hey, I'm going to, you know, go for it. You never know, and I hit. So after I got those, those three sneakers, I started slowly back collecting, um, and then I went and just spent, I spent, the bag on these i spent them i spent the most money i've ever spent on a sneaker or any clothing article in my life and basically if y'all know a resale is going for for these right now that's basically what i spent for these um still dead stock still haven't worn them of course don't know when i'm gonna wear them but um like i had to have them i wasn't gonna keep you know being into sneakers being into the game without without having these so i had to buy these shoes i had to buy them for resale it sucks I had to start over, but hey, man, I learned my lesson. So I know I definitely won't, won't be doing any trades ever again unless I know unless I know yes. Uh, shout out to eBay too, by the way. Um, so yeah, man, that's basically my story for the Jordan Five Off White, my Grail. Um, I went through a lot. I lost a lot. I lost over three grand worth of personal things for these. I bought replicas of these, and it didn't work. So Virgil, you really, you really, you really did yourself because the feeling that I had for this shoe is the feeling I think all sneaker heads should have for their grill. You know, this is my grill. This isn't just like a sneaker from, like I said, this is my favorite shoe right here. So, you know, I think that's the one thing that's really missing from this uh, sneaker community is everything is just, I mean, it's always been about money, but that, I mean, that's, that's strictly what it's about. It's strictly about resale. It's strictly about, you know, but get hit getting a shoe for retail, especially on sneakers that nowadays is like almost winning the lottery. Like it's just man, if you did it, you did it. You know, if you want the shoe, you know you can get it, but you have to pay resale. You have to. There's no other way unless you trade. You know, so I think trading is starting to become a more and more a, a bigger thing. I think it's always been kind of big, but I think now it's starting to get bigger because we got like apps like Trade Block. You know, to help make sure everything is secure, everything is legit, everything is authentic. So definitely helps for us, but you know, the sneaker community is, is grimy, man. It's grimy. You know, I, I watch a lot of YouTubers take a lot of flack, um, just for the information that they get and they're giving back to the people. And it's like, yo, these guys don't work for Nike or for Jordan. So nobody knows everything or nobody is, is going to have that plug. Who's really going to know everything. And I think that's what Nike wants. Nike wants to keep us guessing and wants to want to keep us on our toes, which we should be, you know, uh, but I do miss shock drops. You know, I like looking forward for shoes. Like I knew everybody knew that the, um, the Jordan 12s were going to drop the, the cool grays were going to drop 
um, this holiday season. We've been doing that since last year. So like information like that, yes, I, I want that information. I want to know something that's coming out next year so I can be hype about it. But it has to be a sneaker worth it. You know what I mean? I don't want no, you know, no boo-boo. But um, yeah, man, that's just a little bit about me, a little bit about um, my adventures with the Jordan 5 off-white metallic. Uh, like I said, the best shoe of all time, man. Not the best show of all time, but my, my favorite show of all time. I love it. So thank y'all, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be bringing y'all some more dope content um, in the next couple days. A lot of dunks coming. Um, a couple pairs of Jordans. Like I said, I'm, I'm kind of, honestly kind of falling off the Jordan wagon. Like I'm starting to just become a Jordan dunk guy. But um, Jordan dunk. <laughs> a Nike dunk low guy. But um, yeah, love y'all, man. Peace.